give you some cooking tips that you probably will find quite helpful for cooking grains, vegetables and hard cooking eggs or poaching eggs. The steam oven is a great tool for cooking grains and legumes. I have successfully cooked all types of rice, bulgur, quinoa, barley, lentils and even also pasta. In my experience though, beans are still best simmered in a pan on the cooktop. Now most grains are cooked in a ratio of two parts water to one part grain, but I find using less water gives a better result. There's no need to boil the water, just add the water to the pan, place in the oven. If there's a little residual water left in the pan at the end of the cooking time, you can strain the grains or just let them sit out of the oven for a few minutes and they'll absorb the liquid. When it comes to steaming vegetables in the steam oven, I find that uh, blanching or steaming leafy greens, it's best to cook them in the solid pan, tossed with a little moisture to prevent them from sticking to the cooking tray. If you're going to saute them after the blanching, you will need to squeeze out the moisture and let them dry out a bit. Artichokes I find are best cooked in the solid pan with some water and lemon slices. The cooking time might be a little bit longer than on the stove top, so check them after about 20 minutes to determine the degree of doneness. But cooking them this way, they should cook beautifully. Most other vegetables can be steamed in the perforated pan. The cooking time for most vegetables will be between six to eight minutes, depending on the size and freshness of the vegetables. When you're steaming potatoes for potato salad, I use the perforated pan and cook them till just fork tender. But when I'm steaming them for mashed potatoes, I use the solid pan with more water and I let them get really soft so I can mash them more easily. Cooking eggs in the steam oven is just amazing. The cooking time for eggs will always depend upon the size of the eggs and how cold they are. But generally, it takes about 20 minutes to hard cook eggs and 12 to 15 minutes for a softer egg. Just place the eggs in the perforated pan, set the timer, and then plunge them into cold water when you remove from the oven to stop them from cooking. Making deviled eggs has never been this easy. Now for poached eggs, we just crack the eggs into a lightly buttered ramekin and place in the oven. And the cooking time will be between five to six minutes. I find five and a half minutes is ideal for large cold eggs. And for a delicious breakfast or brunch, you can actually put some cooked vegetables in the bottom of the ramekin, topped with a little bit of cheese, then crack the egg on top. If the vegetables are cold, Place the ramekin in the oven for a few minutes first to heat them through. Then add the cheese and the egg and cook for five and a half minutes. That way you don't overcook the egg, trying to get the vegetables to be warmed all the way through.